Yourself. I don't reckon I've ever been in a psychiatrist's office. It, this isn't quite what I was expecting. Really? Yeah, I, I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe uh, skulls, diagrams of brains, one of those uh, armless leather sofas. <laughs> well, sorry to disappoint you, but we just have one of those everyday kind of sofas. Do your uh, patients really lie down when you talk to them? Uh, not necessarily. It's just important they feel comfortable. You know, I don't mean to be rude, and I don't mean to cut this little chat short, but I have an awful lot of work to do, and I really can't go through these files with non-hospital personnel present. Oh, right. Uh, Doctor-patient confidentiality. Yes, exactly. Well, it's got to be real hard taking over somebody's practice, especially when it's a, a friend and the circumstances are so upsetting. Yes, well, there were some problems in the beginning, but um, nothing I couldn't deal with. Well, I heard you uh, sold, are going to sell the practice. Yes, well, you heard right. And I am fixing the files right now for the new doctor. Well, it is too bad what happened to Dr. Jeffries. I mean, I didn't know him very well, but it's still a shame. I was kind of underground at the time. What exactly did happen to him? Well, apparently it was a freak accident. Uh, Will, well, Dr. Jeffries, um, he was out in his boat the night a, a storm hit, and he was... He was thrown overboard, I suppose. At any rate, the case is closed. Right. I saw that file, by chance. Well, as I said before, um, I really do have to go through these files, and I can't do it when you're in the room. All uh, right. Well, I will just get out of your way. Thanks for the coffee. Thank you. And uh, good luck cleaning up the office here. Dr. Lewis, I'll be seeing you.